Leck and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of September 2023. And here I have a long kong from an organic farm nearby. Whoa, <laughs> there's maybe something's wrong with it. Just the seeds. Tastes good. I like it. The last of the <laughs> now the limes. There's still some on the tree. Asparagus. Aroy Magloya. <laughs> Everyday greens. Long ends. We've been eating long ends for the last two months and now it's coming to an end. They are starting to get um, a little bit uh, tasteless. The sweetness is going out of them. We have a lot in the freezer and we have eaten a lot. So we are really happy with our organic long ends here. Uh, it's really hard to get organic long ends unless people have it in their gardens just for, just for eat by, by themselves. But here in Lee, Usually this is an industry fruit, so everybody is using chemicals to produce it. And usually they sell it to, the, to a big factory, so they get very low price. These long ends, if they're really big, but like this size, is probably like 6-7 baht for, per kilo of this, without the branches or leaves. So it's really hard to be a long end farmer or any farmer here in Thailand. Right now, um, we, uh, we use some time on uh, taking care of the, um, the borders of the garden so people don't throw a lot of plastic. We usually um, pick up a lot of plastic and you can see that there are flowers. So PK has uh, just uh, taken away the weeds around the flowers and now he's cutting with the big machine. Well, right now is the Lam Yai harvest time. So people cutting the branches and then they just burn it. So we have, a lot of times we have bad air. In the real smoke season, like January till February, March, maybe sometimes April, you cannot see those mountains at all. So we had the, a, a big problem with the Pietakachan. These insects that are consuming the, the flowers and the fresh fruit and peeing everywhere and making it like black, the leaves black and so the photosynthesis just goes wrong and everything. So we cut the, the trees really and took off all the leaves because we believed that, you know, help the trees so we can have fresh leaves and remove all these uh, insects that destroyed almost our whole harvest of the Nam Dog Mai, the mangoes the type of the type Nam Dog Mai and yeah it seems like it's working without with removing but the the leaves but many of the trees were not able to uh, create new shoots and survive so without leaves the the trees cannot breathe and uh, also we had a very dry wet season so so there was not enough uh, rain and they seem to be have dried out many of the trees and what we did uh, yesterday, the last two days, was spray with um, a fungi, uh, a mix of fungi that should help um, to destroy any other bad insects and also the, the termites. What I've read from some scientific um, studies is that they use this, these fungi, the mix of fungi in organic gardens for, uh, for example, the cassava roots. If you water with this fungi or fungi mix, the cassava roots uh, are not will not be eaten by by these termites. Termite hill consuming a banana. This is our neighbor's land. The way how he managed the mango trees, he's just pruning them and then just put the leaves under the tree. The neighbor has the local type of mango in their garden so they can manage it differently. We also have the local type or different local types that are also survived and having are thriving right now. But these Nam Dog Mais have been grafted which means that the, the, the bottom is the local type and then they put a, a grafting of the 
not local type Nandok Mai, which is like the what Thai people see as the most delicious mango, and they put it on, on top of that. So it's more sensitive. This is our he healthiest Nandok Mai mango. And even though it's the healthiest and we didn't cut it much, it still gets attacked by termites. So there's termite attack. But what is good, uh, if you remove the termites, um, mud or what it's called, then the ants come and they will just eat and kill the termites. Unfortunately, it's not only our mango trees which have problems with termites. They are also attacking or eating our beans. So we had many which died already. Other neighbors, they are most of the time planting uh, corn for animal feed. Our beautiful pumpkin field, they are just growing really well.